Green and blue, that's the colors we get today, green and blue. So I thought we'd talk about um, a topic that is very common in photography. And after all these years, some people still ask, should I shoot RAW or JPEG? Well, first of all, they both have their uses. What do you plan to do with the photo you're taking? Is it something you need to have in low resolution? Uh, is it mostly for web use? Or do you want to make a nice print? Do you want to sell this photo? Like, for example, like I do in uh, some stock photo websites. And if you sell your phone in stock photo websites, yes, they do accept JPEG. Uh, they do not accept RAW because of size constraints. And also because there's so many different formats of RAW for each camera maker. And sometimes within the same camera maker, you can find different formats like Canon, for example, has CR2 and now CR3. So what do you do? Um, I shoot everything in RAW. Um, and that's because I, I use my photos in um, photo sort of professional settings. That said, space constraint, it's also a limit, as well as your computer. Do you have a powerful computer? Can it handle all the data? Is there a difference between RAW and JPEG? Well, there is a huge difference. Uh, when you shoot a photo in JPEG, the manufacturer of your camera is pretty much deciding how to, what to make the photo look like. Sorry, sometimes, sometimes I take a pause just to look at the scenery. Just love being around here. So I was saying that the camera maker will decide what your photo will look like. If you look at photos taken on a JPEGs, taken on a Nikon, taken on a Fuji, on a Canon, they do look different. Some of them are more saturated in green, some of them is in blue, um, some are a little sharper. And this comes down to manufacturer's preferences and the software they use in built in in each camera. The one that converts internally your raw into a JPEG or your, your raw data, I should say, into a JPEG. And this actually opens up a whole kind of worms because we go back to the old dilemma if you shoot a photo and then you edit it it's not a photo anymore you'll hear some people saying well that could not be any further away from the truth of course it is still a photo of course it's still a work of art if you put your heart in it if you do not retouch your photo change the saturation change the sharpness highlights, shadows, and all that stuff. It doesn't matter. The camera maker already did that for you. There is not such a thing as an untouched photo unless you're shooting in RAW. And even then, even the RAW, <laughs> it's just exactly not RAW data because it still has a minimum of processing. So no such a thing as an untouched photo. Either you decide how to retouch it, or the camera manufacturer will decide for you. Personally, I prefer to retouch it myself, so my end result is what I saw when I envisioned that photo that I'm taking. Look at this beautiful stream. Now, if you have a lot of space constraint and raw power on your computer, Probably JPEG is better for you. But JPEG, you you lose a lot. Uh, you lose colors, 
you lose definition. Um, the dynamic range, it's only a fraction of what you get in, uh, in RAW. When I shoot in RAW, if somebody, if uh, a part of the image is too dark, I can pull it up, I can pull up some details quite a bit. You can do that in JPEG because you introduce so much noise if you did it, do that in JPEG. I'm gonna write something about it um, and then I'll post it on my blog. Maybe I can uh, show you some examples of uh, differences. Like I was saying earlier, if you are shooting for the web, uh, that doesn't require high resolution. So, especially if it's a small image. So chances are you don't you don't really need that. You don't really need to shoot in RAW. You don't need the RAW image. And uh, also, if you're shooting high speed photography, um, like I do when I shoot um, motorcycle races. Uh, depending on the camera you have, now speed becomes more important than, than resolution. And if you don't have a power horse like a Canon EOS 1DX Mark III, something like that, or, or the new R5, which I hear is a miracle of a camera, um, if, if you don't have something like that, speed is a lot more important. So by shooting in JPEG only, you're gonna get a lot more frames and that's what's important because high-speed photography requires that you shoot a lot of frame to be able to get a, a decent result how about you guys do you shoot raw do you shoot jpeg do you do a mix what do you do do you shoot with your phone i but do quite a bit of photography with my phone and you know what? I'm gonna open another can of worms here, but a good photographer with a phone, it's better than a lousy photographer with the best camera in the market. What's your opinion on that? Let me know. Write it down in the comments and we'll discuss it.